Y'all about to get educated. Now today we're going to talk about Edith Finch. This is a story-based, third-person adventure game. But the genre is adventure, technically? That's what the internet told me when I looked it up. But it's very confusing. It's like a life is strange, gone home, etc. type game. And our protagonist of this story is, of course, Edith Finch. She is the character that you're going to be playing as for the bulk of the game ish. So Edith is the only person left in her family who is alive. She's inherited this big ass house because her grandmother was like insanely rich for some undisclosed reason. And she decides that she's going to learn all the secrets of her family because her mother left her this key and she's decided that she's going to figure out what the key is for and her mother has finally decided to let her in on the secrets of her family. Her mother is dead, by the way. So the whole game is basically the stories of Edith's family and how they all died. So you're going to play as a different member of the family for every story that you're going to play through. Now, this is where the spoilers happen. So if you haven't played Edith Finch, pause this video, go get it, go play it. It's like two hours long, then come back and finish. Did you play the game? Are you back? Okay, first of all, can we talk about the pregnancy? Like, she just chose, the, uh, the writers chose to reveal that in the strangest, like, I don't understand. Like, she was just talking about her family history, and she's, like, walking around, climbing stairs, and she's like, oh, by the way, I'm, like, 22 weeks pregnant. Surprise! And yes, those of you who have also played it before are gonna be in the comments already saying, oh, but you could have told before because you looked down and she has a tummy. But listen, Edith for real looks like me after a good burrito. Like that is not pregnancy type fat. I mean, it is smart to point out that you can't see her feet, which is not a normal thing. But if you don't walk while you're like looking downwards, like I didn't notice that. I thought that she had a little bit of fat on her and I was like, she's the first female game character I've ever seen who has that. And like a playable character. I was like, this is revolutionary, but she's actually just pregnant. So the fact that you'd see a female game character with any body fat whatsoever and you automatically like understand that she's pregnant, that's a problem. And also I've heard the theory that Grandma Edie is the real villain behind this story because she was negligent and irresponsible raising her kids and she used the curse to like justify their deaths when it was really her fault and she killed her grandkids by making them believe in this curse but i'm gonna push back on that a little bit if edith's mom had really been trying to protect her from the curse and that's why she left then why did she leave her that key clearly dawn wanted edith to find out those family stories or she wouldn't have left her that key on purpose, you know? And Edith herself says she didn't think that she was ever going to come back. She wouldn't have come back if she hadn't been left that key. Also, the voice of Edith, the character of Edith, I don't think that it's believable. I mean, growing up with an uncle in her basement that she doesn't even know about, surrounded by all of these family stories with a dead father and stories of all of these dead relatives and her mom is sealing up all of the bedrooms in the house because they're all shrines to her like dead forefathers and her brother disappears and her other brother kills himself and she's totally normal. Like the way that she talks, she everything, totally normal. I mean, yeah, she's 17 and pregnant, but, like, that is not enough. You don't go through all of that and come out the other side just, like, a totally normal person talking the way that Edith does. And really, all of the death stories felt satisfying. Like, I felt like I knew what happened, except for Milton's. Like, 
I need more information about Milton. Which might have been on purpose because they don't know what happened either. Milton just kind of vanished, I guess. He was just gone. So maybe he's alive, question mark? Like, I guess we don't know because the family doesn't know and they want us to feel the same way, but like, it's frustrating. I didn't like it. And of course, the most poignant take the cake moment in this entire game was the story of Lewis. I knew coming in that it was going to be a different experience because I was told about it, but like, man. I kept expecting like different things to happen. I thought when he was severing the fish heads that he was going to put his hand under there, like his whole arm, and he was gonna die from blood loss. That's not what happened. I feel like when you depict suicide in any sort of art, like it can either go really well and be beautiful and poignant, or it can, like if you get it wrong, you get it very wrong and it's horrible. And I feel like they did this beautifully. I'm starting to think like, at least some of these stories have got to be made up. Like, I guess by Edie, maybe by Edie, but like the kid who died from going all the way around on the swings, like that sounds like a story that people tell kids. Like I was scared of that when I was little. That's not a thing that happens to people. And I understand that like, they are made up in the sense that this is a video game, but like I think that even in this fictional world, they are fictional stories. And even after Lewis, the biggest one that I can't get out of my head is the death of Sam and killing that deer, but it's still alive and it ends up killing him in front of his daughter, in front of Dawn. And like, that's another thing. Edith cannot be normal because Dawn could not have been normal after seeing her dad killed in front of her by a deer that she had shot like mm -mm, mm -mm. i'm undecided on how i feel about the ending i mean it was right and this boy is now the only finch now that edith is gone and like you have to guess whether or not he's going to be affected by those stories and like meet the same fate that she did but now like, the family isn't over. So maybe sequel, question, question mark? What do you guys think? Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments. Bye.